We all deserve to live in a world where flora and fauna of every shape and hue are given the conditions to survive and thrive. It's possible to reverse the effects of climate change, which threaten all life on Earth. And we all have a role to play in helping the UN achieve this goal by 2030. Our world is a beautiful place. It is home to countless life forms, from the mammals of Antarctica and the fish of the Gold Coast Coral Reef to us in our stunning cities. But it can be a harsh environment too. Life on Earth has always been at the mercy of the elements. Natural disasters like floods can wash away whole ecosystems. Forest fires lay waste swaths of land. Hurricanes and earthquakes level settlements and make living incredibly precarious. These natural processes have created and shaped the land for millennia. But studies show that rising temperatures in Earth's atmosphere are making natural disasters like these much more frequent and more severe. Global warming is a man-made modern phenomenon. It began with the Industrial Revolution. New machines automated tasks and helped business owners make lots of money. But because they relied on the burning of fossil fuels to function, factories dotted throughout the land churned out clouds of poisonous gases and changed the delicate balance of Earth's atmosphere. Since then, climate change has been exacerbated by a growing global population. Global warming is now at crisis levels. In China, the air can be so toxic that sometimes citizens wear face masks. And in the Arctic, the ice caps are melting, making it impossible for wildlife to survive. But eco-heroes everywhere are taking action against climate change. In the US, car manufacturer General Motors is working in partnership with the government to tackle climate change. It was one of the first signatories of the American Business Act on Climate Pledge and is investing heavily in electrification, thereby helping to cut down on greenhouse gas emissions. Architects around the world are creating eco-friendly houses and reducing their carbon footprint by replacing harmful concrete with natural materials like mud bricks and recycled shipping containers. And in Vancouver, school children are working with the city's urban forestry program to offset the effects of deforestation by planting lots of new trees in their neighborhoods, which consume dangerous carbon dioxide and produce healthy oxygen. Together, we can create a safe, resilient, and sustainable future for everyone.